What's up? This is Anthony Neary, and this is my wakeboarding project. So what we're going to start off with is the basic positioning for wakeboarding. This is me being pulled behind our boat at Lake Alatoona, and the basic starting position is not really that complicated. Knees are supposed to be bent all the way up to the chest as far as you can go, and your arms slightly bent. This, this allows the boat to pull you up easily without you having to do much work. Now that you have the basic positioning down, now you're actually getting up. Once the boat starts to pull you up, what you need to do is you need to turn the board and straighten your legs at the same time. As you're doing that, strain your arms and you actually have to pull yourself up. What a lot of people say is that the boat does all the work and you do nothing when you actually really have to pull yourself up. For me, personally, I like to ride Goofy. There are two different stances in wakeboarding, goofy and regular. Regular is when you ride with your left foot forward and goofy is when you ride with your right foot forward. Now in this picture what you see now is me starting to plane off. Planing off is when you're starting to glide on top of the water. All you're doing now is just straining your legs and letting the boat do all the work now. Like I said earlier in the video, there are two different stances in wakeboarding, goofy and regular. If you ride regular, all the steps to getting up are the exact same as riding goofy, except that you're just turning your board a different way. Here is a slow down video of my sister getting up and riding regular. Now we're going to be learning about turning. Turning is either leaning on your toes or leaning on your heels. Whichever way you lean is the way the board is going to go. In this picture you see me leaning on my toes because the water is splashing the opposite way and I'm going to be going to the direction of my toes. Now we're going to be turning the opposite way than we just did before. To turn the opposite way you just lean back on your heels. 
You can see the water is shooting out from my toes instead of my heels now. The further you lean back on your heels, the more you'll turn. Alright, now we're going to learn how to jump on a wakeboard. The first obstacle to overcome is getting off the wake. Getting off the wake means that you're getting from behind the boat and going outside to the flats. The flats is the part where the boat has not cut through the water yet and there's no wake. Getting over the wake can be difficult for some people and easy for others. All you need to do is maintain your balance and be completely stiff and go over with in one smooth motion. next step to jumping is cutting out. This means that the wakeboarder must lean either on their toes or heels as much as possible once they get over the wake. The further you cut outside the wake, the better chance you have of clearing it. Once you cut out as far as possible, you are ready for the next step. The next thing to do is to cut in. Cutting in is when you lean the opposite way that you cut out. The harder you cut in, the more speed you will gain and the greater chance of you executing a good jump. Now, you're going to be cutting in with a great amount of speed. For beginners like me, I keep my knees bent when I hit the wake. When you try your first few jumps, you should do this too because it gives you good balance. Once you hit the wake, keep the rope in the same position at all times to not lose this balance. Once you're in the air, you want to prepare for your landing. You want to keep the board as straight as possible and not let it lean. If the board leans toward your toes, like in this picture, you want to try to bring it back to the center as quickly as possible, but if you're unable to do so, then you must hold that position until you land. To land correctly, you want to try to take the same position that you had in the air on the water. If necessary, you can use the rope to pull yourself up if your balance is off. 